What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And in this video, I want to talk about this hidden Photoshop feature that I knew absolutely nothing about. Now, if you guys knew about this, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. But let's talk about Photoshop's neural filters. And I hope I'm saying that right now. I didn't know that Photoshop had something baked inside of it for you to be able to smoothen and soft and retouch skin like I did not notice. Now I have been using something called Reblum for a really long time now, at least a couple months ever since uh, they reached out to me the first time. But what I want to do is I want to put Photoshop to the test and see if they can beat out Reblum. Now Reblum is a phenomenal application. Let me let me tell you a little bit about it. Now me personally, the other AI editing softwares they let you do so much but i'm just not that type of photographer i am one of the people that was a little slower to the ai side because i retouch a lot and since i retouch i like my stuff to look as authentic as possible i want blemishes off the face you know i don't want to do all of this other crazy stuff with an ai program and in my opinion it's just it's lazy, right? But Reblum does every single thing that I needed to do when it comes to editing. But let's see if Photoshop can beat out Reblum for free. So now that we're in Photoshop, we actually have to come over to where we see the filter tab and it's right here under neural filter. So we're gonna go ahead on and click that. And what that does is bring up a lot of different things. Now this says, portraits so let's check out the portrait section so it says skin smoothing now they have this little blue box that i'm not really sure what it is like i guess it's i guess it's looking at where it's going to apply stuff so let me click okay so when i click this it highlights the whole thing but okay so already it looks like this is only doing the face that's interesting now with reblum full body whole body but this is free right this is free so we can't really complain about that so i'm gonna turn on skin smoothing and let's see what that does okay processing okay all right so yeah so i can already see so what this did is it provided blur and, and i see that but okay so let's all right this isn't all right let's turn the blur to zero Okay. It's still, I don't know what, let's, all right, let's go to smoothness. Let's put that to zero. Let's just, can we get our photo back? Because I have everything, I have this at negative 50 and blur to zero, and it's still giving me, can I get a before and after? Is that what this is? Yes. All right, cool. Perfect. This is what is, look at this. Now, Maybe this is your jam, but let me tell you why it's not mine. And this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about AI stuff. This shadow on the nose right here, look at this. See that? You can see that shadow. Now it's not. That's, yeah, that's not, that's not my, <laughs> I, would, I would think with everything being like so low that we would have more of a natural image. Okay, so let's, let's go up with smoothness. I don't know if that's doing anything, but let's go up with blur. Let's see how crazy this actually could get. Yeah, that's <laughs> all right. I, all right. Well, if this is this is free, so you really can't. I guess you can't complain. Let's check out some of these. Other, all right, I'm going to turn this off. Let's go with smart portrait. I don't really know what this does, but Hmm, it says facial age. That's interesting. All right, let's turn this on. Let's see what we get. Nothing yet. Wait, happiness. Huh. If this, if this adds a smile to her face, this is going to be crazy. Come on, come right along. Get out of here. Oh my God. <laughs> I 
That's wild. Okay, so I was wondering why it was taking so long to process, but I see, okay, I see what's going on. I think what they're doing is they're probably taking like their generative feel and this is, that's crazy. That's hilarious. I've, I'm gonna have fun with this. Look at, oh my God. <laughs> let's go to facial age right quick and uh, let's turn that up. Okay, well this one's going a little faster. We don't have to wait so long. This video is gonna be long because this <laughs> this is, this is good. Get out of here. Okay, I, this is, all right, this is just, I'm, I'm, I'm done. So let's jump into Reblum, right? That was, that was fun, that was fun. But me, like I said, I'm a retoucher, right? So at the end of the day, I want something that's gonna retouch my images the right way, I guess. Like without, yeah, the right way. So I actually, what I really like about Reblum is I can turn it into an action now. It's super simple to use. You have natural and you have fashion and then you have sliders that you could play with for that. I showed that in a previous video, but you know what? Let's let's jump into the application and I'll just show you again. So I'm gonna come over here to Reblum, touch Reblum, retouch. It pulls up in my second window, but let's go ahead on and put it over here. Now, one thing that I also really love about Reblum is just the simple fact that they update this app a lot right and they're always adding new things one thing i do wish you would do reblum if you're watching this is let us know what you're adding because i've noticed that you added something recently and i didn't even know well you didn't tell me about this okay i had to realize by looking at it i want you to pay attention to her eyes okay see the, see her eyes this is without reblum this is with reblum they have went into also retouching the eye, the whites in the eyes this and it so i have a i have a subscription but it's a lifetime subscription which honestly is that's just the way to go i see no reason paying monthly when it's so cheap to just buy it and have it and own it but <clears throat> here's the thing this is let me let's back it up a little bit this is without it being retouched and this is with it being retouched none of that shadow stuff from messing up around here it really touches up the photo the way you want to now this is the natural look and you still have the sliders where you could go back and forth to kind of dial it in where you want to remember when i was with the other one i was like trying to take it all the way to zero to look at my base image and wasn't able to do it well i can here i can bring my texture all the way back and my general all the way back and i'm looking at the same photo at the end of the day whoops let's bring that all the way back and i'm looking at the same photo right there so <clears throat> you have your intensity your texture but for me personally i like to bring some texture back into the image which is all the way this way and i usually keep it around here and i do the same thing every single time press ok then it goes ahead on and it it applies it to the image so i have it on two different layers as you can see if i get rid of it this is what it like look like before and this is what it looks like now but i'm gonna hide this and just work on this let's duplicate this layer right quick so here's the thing about when it comes to this right i turned this into actions and if you look right here you can see i have control f2 and control f3 now what this is going to do is is let me press that without even going into reblum and it just does it so let me go ahead on and show you control f2 and it pulls up here with the progress let's pull that right here so you can see it i got two screens and then boom just like that so now just with control f2 i just retouched my image right there and like i said before it also goes it doesn't just stay with the face it also hits the body up right um with certain things that it gets rid of as you can see around this hair area it touches everything another thing that i was experimenting with and you can try it by all means but me personally i i don't know i just like to have fun I hit F2 on this a few times just to see if it would do something different every single time and maybe it catches something different and then boom, voila, and just keep going, right? And sometimes I even hit control F3 that I got mapped to the fashion edit and give it something like that because it's like you could keep hitting it. It's never going to touch like the hair or anything like that. Now look at this image, right? Now I hit it a few times with this. Let's go to before and after, right? So this is after, this is before. This is before, and this is after. Now Photoshop, I feel you, I feel you. Like you made it free, all of that. But this, 
You cannot beat this right here at all. So you guys let me know in the comment section what you think about Reblum and what you think about Photoshop's hidden little retouching beauty thing that they had going on that at least I didn't know about. Maybe you did, but which one would you rather use if you had the choice? Until the next time, I'm Ryan Troy and peace.